Greetings friends, today I'm going to take some time out to talk about the Skeletech Bushcraft Blade by Carrie Sly Steel or Sly Steel. This is a blade for a very serious woodsman right here. So I talked to the designer of this knife and he said he really took a lot of time into thinking about the shape and the functionality of this blade. So right here has your brown micarta handle. Okay, so we're going to talk uses. This knife is made for the woodsman. This is for just an all-around multi-purpose outdoor knife. The It's got kind of like a modified drop point. It actually comes up a little bit right here. It's got jimping that extends actually down on the top of the handle, which I really like. And it has your spindle hold, your hand hold right there. So if I want to do a friction fire, I can actually use this. And the best part is, is on both sides. So a lot of times I see knives and they don't have the, the hand hold hole on both sides. Notice right here, there's for striking your fire rod. Lanyard hole, um, and you can see I just added a little piece of paracord to the grind starts and it goes down to a secondary bevel. Pretty easy to sharpen. It's, it's just such an easy steel to sharpen. You just want to make sure that you keep it dry because otherwise it will rust really easily. But that brings me to the next point and uh, the sheath. I really like the sheath. You can actually switch and completely customize this sheet. Uh, you can switch this and customize this, this sheath. Left or right handed, you can also change the positioning of the sheath and this is a really unique lock design that's patent, patented. Um, really secure in the sheath too which is which is important especially for a big heavier blade like this it's got just enough thickness to really let me know that I can baton this and feel safe without it getting worn out and I also really wanted to talk about just the shape of the handle this handle was made really in mind for uh, bushcraft and outdoor work because it's got an indent right here so you can you can choose to hold it right here if you're going to be whacking but you can also move your finger up and this is great hold for if you're doing some fine detail work carving wood whatever making a you know making a trigger for a trap this this allows you to get up really close and personal really really symmetrical clean construction I, balance is something that I feel like is so overlooked but this has an awesome awesome balance a great feel in the hand and I probably shouldn't hold up to my face like that and shave it. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the shape. Like I said, kind of a modified drop point. In my opinion, that is just one of the best shapes you can have for a bushcraft blade. It has, it serves so many uses. It uh, comes out enough to where if I am splitting wood, it gives it a nice, it'll help that wood evenly slide across it. It would be a good skinny knife too. I'm going to test out this uh, striker right here. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun, but... You can see it's just a very comfortable, uh, it's, it's a comfortable position for the striker to be on. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the balance of this. So this handle is actually skeletonized. There's holes uh, that you can't see obviously because they're covered up by the, by the micarta scales. But the skeletonized, uh, it's full tang, but the holes within it help it just have that more of a balanced feel. and. Uh, that's important. A lot of people don't skeletonize their handles, but skeletonizing not only reduces the weight of the blade, it helps even it out. Another benefit of something being skeletonized, if, if I'm out in the bush and I want to remove these scales, I will be able to strap this on to something like a spear or be able to fasten it. I'll be able to loop through those holes on the tang. I was going to show you how sturdy and um, it's a bit thicker and wider right here. So this kind of makes it, uh, this makes it so it's capable of something like prying. I haven't tried prying it yet. Personally, I don't ever pry with my knives just because that wears them down quickly. But it's just got such a thick, uh, thick and sturdy shape to it. And I'm not like, I feel like I could take this and then I could beat it around and that it would be okay. Another thing I like about the positioning of the choil is that it goes down a little bit right here and that is going to help prevent your thumb from slipping up and potentially cutting yourself. So if I want to have a, a, power, a power strike, I would hold it right here and this is going to allow me to chop down. And then if I want to get into more finer detail work, I can move my finger up here and really have that close uh, feel to whatever I'm carving. So those are just some key points that I really wanted to point out on this blade. It is an amazing, amazing 
all-around blade for anybody who is into camping, into the outdoors, if you're into survival. It kind of encompasses all areas and it's large enough to be a survival blade, but it's also functional enough to be a great, uh, a great blade to use for primitive uses to practice anything relating to bushcraft. So it's just, it's just an all-around buy. I've used this uh, many times. And then the guy who designed this, you can really tell that he just put a lot of thought and a lot of time and effort into creating an ideal blade to use in the outdoor world. Thank you so much guys for watching and subscribing. All the positive comments and everything means the world. The, even, you know, the constructive criticism. It always helps me improve uh, my videos. So if you're looking to save up for just an all-around multi-purpose knife to use in the outdoors, this is it. It's about as functional as you can get. It has so many different features that were really, that, that there was just a lot of thought put into this knife. And uh, I, I use it all the time. And um, I have a lot of different knives like this, but this one I find myself coming to time and time again. I'm just gonna get up close and personal with this. You can hear my TV in the background. Obviously I've used this a lot. I've been cleaning it, so it's pretty nice and shiny right now. But even though I've used it a lot, it still has just kind of retained its, uh, retained its look. Or you can see the red liners right here. Always good to have liners.